Welcome back. I'm Pastor Cat. This is your weekly encouragement. Well, Well, Mother's Day has just passed, and that got me thinking about love, specifically parental love, how a parent lays down their life for their children. And I opened up the Word of God, which is often my case when I have a thought in my mind, and it brought me to John chapter 15. Not exactly where I expected it to go, but I think you'll find it fascinating. This is Christ, of course, speaking about the love He has for the Father and how that all works, starting in verse 9. It says, Just as the Father has loved me, I have also loved you. Abide in my love. If you keep my commandments, you will abide in my love, just as I've kept my Father's commandments and abide in His love. These things I've spoken to you so that my joy may be in you and that your joy may be made full. This is a fascinating bit of scripture for me. The first thing that we have to point out here is Christ says, just as the Father loved him, he reciprocated that love by following all that he was called to do, abiding in the Father's love. This abiding word is interesting. It is the same word that we get the word abode from, the place that you live. If you want to live in Christ's love and thereby the Father's love, then following his commandments are number one. You have to start there. The only way to do that is to really understand what those commandments are. Spend a little time in the word this week. If you do that, if you follow those commands, we are promised that our joy will be made complete. To me, that is huge. There's certainly times in my life where I feel like I've lost a little bit of that joy and I want a little bit back. One way to do that is to examine whether or not I'm actually following the commands, certainly following the commands that I've understanded from the Word of God. Now, two verses later, he expands on this just a little bit. Starting at verse 12, he said, This is my commandment that you love one another just as I have loved you. Greater love has no one than he lays down his life for his friends. You are my friends if you do what I command to you. There's two things we can glean from this section. The one is that he says, My greatest command is that you love one another, and not just in the way that I define it, but as he loved us, meaning he laid down his actual life for us. Us, gave all things for us while we were yet sinners before we ever cared or loved about him and the second thing is he says greater love is no one than he lays down his life for his friends and that may be your time your energy possibly even your actual physical life as Christ did for us and he says if we follow his commands then he is truly our friend. There's nothing more encouraging than having Christ on your side as our friend, willing to lay down his life for each and every one of us. Well, I hope this has been as encouraging to you as it has been to me. If you have questions, comments, concerns, you just want a little bit of prayer, you can put it in the comments down below. I would love to engage in your life that way. Well, God bless. I'll see you next week.